Hey guys, I'm Mel and today I'm going to recommend some books with sexual diversity. So it's the beginning of the year and I've seen a lot of people that decided to make this year's resolution to read more diverse books. And I want to give you some options on what to read in the sexual diversity spectrum. Some books that I enjoyed that I think you will enjoy as well. I read a lot of diverse books and it's something that I do very consciously. These books are very different between them. They are for different moods. They are different parts of the sexual spectrum. And some of them are fantasy, some of them are contemporary, some of them are super dark, and some of them are super light. You have everything here. Number one is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. This is a book about a guy who is gay. He's been talking with this guy online, but he doesn't know who the guy is. So then someone read those emails and starts blackmailing him. So this is a super cute contemporary book. I read it very recently and I thought I wouldn't like it as much as I did. It's very lighthearted, but you also care for the character so much. If you want something light and funny and cute, this is definitely the book for you. Now if you want something very diverse that we don't get a lot in literature in general, not only in YA, if you want to read about a transsexual character, you can read The Art of Being Normal by Lisa Williams. This is a book about a girl who has been born in a boy's body so he wants to transition into being a girl and it's like dealing with those issues and at the same time we hear the story of another guy who has something to share as well. It's very informative if you don't know a lot about transsexuality. It's also a very powerful book. It's a contemporary as well but you get so much from that book. The book is written very beautifully as well. Now if you want something super dark and you're in that mood of reading a you know heavy contemporary you can read Tiny Pretty Things by Daniel Clayton and Sona Charay Potra. This is a very dark book as I said about a lot of kids that are in this conservatory to learn how to dance ballet and ballet is a very interesting word because it can be very beautiful but it can also be very dark and twisted, but this book also touches a lot about characters that are gay or bisexual and this is very interesting because it's in a very different context. It's not only that they are sexually diverse, but they are sexually diverse in this world because it's like you get that stereotype of a gay ballet dancer that is male but not female. It breaks a lot of stereotypes. Because You'll Never Meet Me by Leah Thomas is a book that has a gay character. I talked a lot about this book, it's about these two kids who are never going to meet each other because they have difficulties that if they meet each other they will die basically. I think you will enjoy this book if you enjoy sci-fi. It definitely has those elements. It also is written in letters so that is a super interesting format. It's a perfect combination between fantasy and contemporary. The next book is a book that everybody's been talking about and that is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I love Rainbow Rowell. Like, I love her to pieces. One of the best contemporary YA authors that I've read, but she also made this co really cool fantasy world that is very similar to Harry Potter, but also very different. I'm sure you've heard a lot about this, but Simon and Bass, who are the main protagonists of this book, are the cutest couple that I've encountered. And the theme of sexuality is touched a lot in this book. That's why I'm picking this book in particular. Another book that I talk a lot in this, in this channel is not otherwise specified by Hannah Moskowitz. It's about a girl who is bisexual. We don't get that ever in literature or in general in fiction we need to have 
more books with bisexual characters and this is one that has been done really really well she is also black which is a plus and this is also a contemporary book but it's really cool to see the character development I especially recommend it if you like musicals if you want to read a graphic novel you have one and that is Nimona by Noelle Stevenson I'm sure you've heard about this book by now everybody's been talking about it it's about the shapeshifter that becomes the sidekick of this villain but some of the characters are gay and once you know who they are and once you know what happened and what is their history you're just going to flip out it's a very very funny novel uh, but it's also very twisted at some points and but the humor is amazing and so if you're looking for something fun and well crafted and well made this is a graphic novel for you and I can't make a video without mentioning my favorite author or one of my favorite authors Liva Bray with that I'm going to mention Beauty Queens now all of her books have diverse characters in Beauty Queens you have everything you have the most crazy cast of characters the most crazy story but at the same time you talk a lot about stereotypes on transsexuals uh, on gays on lesbians on everything about on women definitely a book that you should read if you want something crazy and wacky and senseless kind of but with a lot a lot of meaning behind it and the last book that i want to talk about is tell me again how a crush you feel by sarah farisan this book has a lesbian main character who's never really had a crush but then she meets the most beautiful girl and a lot of complex things start happening to her that she doesn't understand this book is so so great because it's written beautifully it's kind of cheesy but it's worth it the romance is so cute such a light-hearted book and it's something that happens also with Simon versus the Homo sapiens agenda that is when to come out and how to come out. So yeah, that was everything for today. Hope you check some of these books out. Hope you like them if you do. Let me know if you decide to read some of them and let me know some other books in the comments that I should read. I have other videos about diversity and I'm going to link them here. And that is everything for today. Hope you liked this. If you did, subscribe and I will see you when I see you. Bye!